Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Rejoice, and I just want to thank God for bringing me here. Pastor said we should come and, you know, give testimony about transformation. And before the beginning of this year, something very traumatic happened to me, and I found myself in this circle of depression and I was very down emotionally. I couldn't talk about it. I, I haven't talked about it to anybody except my mom. This was the year I really started taking my journey with God seriously. And I have been asking God to bring me into a community where I feel loved. And I remember the first Sunday I came to this church and they were worshiping God and I was crying. Most times when they are worshiping, I cry, and I just feel like God is healing me, like these things that I don't talk about. I just feel peace. I just feel loved each Thank time. You, Jesus. And the journey, because I'm writing my final exam, I'm writing my last exam on Wednesday this week, and the journey to this last stage of my university life has been very tough. It has been very, very tough. And... God has just been there for me. I remember when I came for RRA, it felt like that program was made for me because before that program, I, I, I was really deep into this emotional trauma. I couldn't talk. Every, it was a lot. And when I came for RRA, I decided to serve. I volunteered and I was like, God, I don't know what this thing is, but just heal me of it. Just heal me of whatever this knot is in my chest. And I came and the word, there was revelations. Um, Pastor Ekene's wife talked about God showing himself as Yahweh. And that message really hits me. Pastor Sam Oye talked about prayer because there were things I were praying for. I don't know if any of you remember where I came here like a couple of weeks ago and I was giving a testimony about a laptop. And there were things I were praying for that it seemed like God didn't want to do it for me. And I thought maybe it's because I'm not righteous enough. Maybe God is still trying to make me to be holy to a certain extent before he can give me these things. I thought maybe it's because I'm not deserving or I wasn't worthy of it. And when Pastor Sam Oye came and he taught about the fact that God is willing to bless you. Um, Pastor Kenny's wife talked about the fact that God, that God wants to flex his muscles. He wants to show himself. He wants to bless you. He wants to show himself as Yahweh in your life. And that word hits me and it has transformed me in my prayer life. Thank you, I've Jesus. I've been more comfortable to pray, to talk to God. Thank you, because Jesus. Because after that, one of the things during my Bible study that I feel like the Holy Spirit told me was that I've had issues with asking for help, and I've had issues with asking even God for help. And I felt like I, 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 anytime I was asking God or praying for something, it felt like I was being too materialistic or I didn't deserve it. I always felt unworthy of help or anything and after the after the ministration and after the revelation from the word and i went to study more on the bible scriptures that was given to us that day god mm -hmm. has helped me to understand that he does want to help me and i felt closer to him and i felt thank you jesus he thank has just you, been jesus. healing me he has been healing me and I just want to thank God for healing. And that healing is permanent in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. And I prophesy that I will continue to get closer to God. Amen. And I will not fall. Amen. The Lord will continue to hold me by the hand. And Amen. he will continue to lead me Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Did you hear what she said? She said she went to study the scriptures. That is what everybody is supposed to be doing. The Nigerian church copies notes that, they ne that it never returns to. We copy notes, we never ever go to them. Somehow, even stop copying, they come with only the phone. And if you must go forward, you must be solid in the world.